Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, I wanted to let you know about my sponsorship with Scuff Gaming as well as a giveaway in which you can get your hands on this controller right here from Scuff. So yeah, for those who don't know, I am indeed sponsored by Scuff Gaming and I love these controllers. They are extremely helpful with any game that I play especially Mortal Kombat 11. You know, the grips on these controllers are really nice. They prevent you from sweating too much while you're playing games. And they have these trigger stops as well. If you flick those switch, nice little ASMR for you guys there. The triggers stop halfway and it's just quicker. It's something that can help if you want to react quickly and try to block an opponent's attack or something like that. Of course, you got the paddles on the back and these can help a lot as well with flawless blocking. You know, map one of the buttons to triangle or Y depending on if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. For anybody out there who's trying to master Mortal Kombat 11, a scuff controller can genuinely help you in many ways. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, we are doing a giveaway for this controller right here. So if you want to get your hands on this one right here, then head to the link in the description box below and follow the steps. And besides that, if you ever plan on getting any scuff products, a controller or whatever it may be on their website, just head to my customized link scuff.co slash caboose. And if you want to buy something, you can use my personalized code code caboose at checkout to get yourself a discount. And with all that said, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another video, and today what we're going to be talking about is some heavy, heavy rumors that Rocksteady's next game is not going to be a Batman Arkham game, not going to be a Superman game, but potentially a Suicide Squad game. Now, before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy this video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And with that said, well, let's get into this. So, Kind of Funny Games was doing a podcast a couple of days ago at this point, and I know I'm a little bit late on it, but there has been a lot to cover in superhero gaming news over the last couple of days. And on the podcast, they had Blessing and Imran Khan. And what's important to note about Imran Khan is that he used to work at Game Informer, and he clearly knows people who know people within the games industry. And while I'm not saying, you know, take Imran Khan's word as gospel, everything that he says is 100% the absolute truth, I am going to give you guys the classic, take all this information with a grain of salt, but I just do want to mention that Imran Khan seems to have some good sources within the games industry. Okay, so Blessing and Imran are talking about their expectations for DC fandom. They're wondering whether or not we're going to see the Batman game from WB Montreal, as well as whatever Rocksteady is working on. And then in speculating about what Rocksteady is working on, Imran Khan ends up just straight up saying, I've heard that Rocksteady is working on a Suicide Squad game. And now here's where you got to get your grains of salt ready, okay? Because Imran then follows up by saying that this is something that he heard a couple of years ago. And while I will say that there is a chance that Rocksteady is still working on this potential Suicide Squad game, there is a chance, considering Imran Khan has heard about this a couple of years ago, that in that couple of years, some plans have changed. But okay, let's operate under the assumption for a second that a Suicide Squad game is happening and Rocksteady is making it. There is this pretty massive thing that DC just announced a couple of days ago called the DC Fandom, in which there's going to be a ton of new content reveals from WB Games, their movie side, their TVs, and their comics. Could we see, in a potential scenario here, that Rocksteady is making a Suicide Squad game, that it's revealed during the DC Fandom event, alongside WB Montreal's Batman game? Assuming as well that the Batman game from WB Montreal is going to be revealed as well, but I'd say there's a really, really good chance that's going to happen. But regardless, how crazy would it be to get not one, but two major DC game titles that we're going to be getting from WB Montreal and Rocksteady revealed during this DC fandom event I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. It's also really interesting, just the concept that Rocksteady might be making a Suicide Squad game because per some rumors from a couple of years ago, a Suicide Squad game was in development from WB Montreal that ended up getting canceled. And Jason Schreier almost four years ago had reported when he was back at Kotaku that this game, the Suicide Squad game from WB Montreal had been canceled and that WB Montreal was shifting their focus to Batman. So you gotta wonder, based on what Imran Khan had heard a couple of years ago in that Rocksteady was making a Suicide Squad game, lining up with WB Montreal potentially canceling their Suicide Squad game, could it have been 
that the scenario was in fact that WB Montreal just essentially handed over their concept for the Suicide Squad game to Rocksteady to potentially perfect. And then instead of juggling a Suicide Squad game and a Batman game, they got an amazing studio in Rocksteady working on Suicide Squad while they can just put all their focus on Batman. I know I'm going to major tinfoil hat mode on you guys. It's just that all this is really interesting to speculate because this is stuff that I've been covering for the last couple of years. You know, I've made videos on the rumored WB Montreal Suicide Squad game and of course the heavily rumored Batman game for the last like four or five years. So it's really interesting to see here we are now at this point, Imran Khan saying that Rocksteady is the one who's making Suicide Squad. I got to wonder how that ended up coming to be. And I'd say regardless, just under the assumption that this is the case, I am pretty excited about it. A team up game with the Suicide Squad developed by Rocksteady. Now you got to wonder, does it take place in the Arkhamverse? Who are the Suicide Squad going up against? Is there going to be an online co-op element? There's been a lot of rumors suggesting that Rocksteady is working on a games as a service title. How exactly is that going to be incorporated? I have a million and one questions. I just hope that some of them will be answered come the DC Fandom on August 22nd. If, of course, Rocksteady plans to make an appearance at the DC Fandom with a potential Suicide Squad game. And now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Rocksteady is working on a Suicide Squad game? And if so, how do you feel? Feel about that i want to hear your thoughts in the comments and of course if you enjoyed this video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later